so today is a pretty exciting day to be honest. So chuffed. We are here at West Coast Off-Road because we are fitting the new suspension fit out for Project Hilux. <gasps> so exciting. And we're going to take you around, show you what we're doing, how we're doing it and the gear we're going to use. So yeah, stay tuned. I am also getting very excited because I saw so many amazing Toyotas in one place. Yeah, so this is literally stay tuned. Toyota to heaven, right? Got everything from 40 series, 60 series, mm -hmm. 80s, 100s, and big old 70 series V8. So, yeah, it's we'll have a little look at those for sure. Tom, time walk, so. Let me show you my favorite. I do like this 100. <laughs> look at that 60. You do like a classic, don't you? I do. To be well, fair, I who mean, doesn't? Next to this, you also got a gorgeous 40. Question which one do you like the most? That is, that is mine. I just, That's I, a hard one. I just... Look at the stripes. I am partial to 80 stripes. <laughs> I, well, also the body shape. Look at these retro lights. I like also, this. What? Flip camera to this oh, side. Okay, we'll go there first. Yeah, been, been directed. So we got two V8. I got a 79 and a 79. Bloody awesome bits of kit, right? Well, some serious protection. Bash plates, diff yeah. protection, the Iron Man suspension lifted mm. on braid wheels. Yeah. That's a beauty. Hard, a little Jeep here, it's looking nice. Like the wheels, braids again. Braids she look real so little. Good. She's not that short. It's so good. <laughs> look at that. I love, love the rocks. That is. Look at these what are they? What size are they? Let me guess. No, I can actually see it is a 35. Oh, I was going to say 37 for a minute. Let's have a look at that. The good bits, the naughty bits. Ooh, yes. Oh, Even you're interested in the uh, undersides. The 80 and 100 straight out of Africa. No, oh, sorry, 105. So let's go into the showroom. Mm. It's pretty exciting to be honest to see all the gear laid out. That's a beast, isn't it? Take up the whole of our pickup bed. <laughs> Plenty of space for beers. For the jewels in. <laughs> yeah, the important bits, eh? So, we are going to be going through with you guys some of this, these bits later. We're talking about suspension that we're going with. No spoilers. No spoilers yet. No spoilers. <laughs> Getting your swag. Yeah, we can we can get you a swag, and then um, I can have all the space in the roof tent. Bring me down. I do like these bars. And rear bar with the toe points as well. I do like having a toe point in the rear bar. It gets rid of the ground anchor that you usually get on a standard pickup. Oh my god, I need it. Look <laughs> What is it actually for? Well, is it a sleeping bag? Yes, it is. Bag, but you can walk in it. <laughs> you sit around that at the campfire. That is definitely what you need because you're always freezing. Can I have it? They're both seat solid, so when your spring deflects and goes flat. Yeah. Obviously it lengthens, that shaft was yeah. supposed to swing. It wasn't moving. No, so you, you're kind of forcing on that bush all the time. Oh, 
Okay. So Paul is just going to take us through a couple of points and the differences between the different Ironman shocks. Yeah, so we've got three main ones in the in the range. Start with the nitro gas shock, which is a normal uh, nitro gas charged shock absorber, twin tube. Then we've got the foam cell, which is our middle of the road shock, and then the foam cell pro. Two main differences with them. The nitro gas is obviously filled with the gas, and the foam cell and the foam cell pro have foam instead of the gas. Uh, mainly to get more oil, which is more cooling. The choice on your shocks is what you're doing with the car and a bit of budget. So obviously yeah. the, the gas is cheaper. You carry a lot of weight, do a lot of off-roading, like you guys are, and the main reason we fit with the Pro, you'll keep, you've got a lot of oil capacity, got your cooling. Yeah. So it stays a lot cooler on, on corrugations yep. and rough terrain. Yeah, the coil springs on the front. Yeah. Uh, they're quite easy because it's with or without a bar work and yeah. the, the weight, so it's quite easy to spec. And then the rears on your leaf springs. You can choose all how much weight you think you're going to carry and spec it up to that, Correct. that yeah. level. Correct, yeah. The pros are also rebuildable as well, so they're, as well as yeah. being a, just a bomb proof shock anyway, you can. You never get an issue with seals or anything, they're, they're mm. all rebuildable. And you've yeah. seen a picture on your video of the sheer size difference between the factory high look shock, which is particularly small yes. on the rear. Yeah. And the Firm Cell Pro, it's, like, yeah, it's, pretty it's more than twice the size. Yeah. yeah, The arms as well, the whole kit. Yeah, to because we went up. for the arms, which just brings everything back into alignment. And uh, I think you, t you said you could put, well, they come with factory spec uh, ball joints yes. and bushes. Yeah. So it's all replaceable, you can get those. Yeah, it's all very easy to... Toyota, wherever, wherever it yeah. is. To keep yeah. maintained, yeah. yeah. Lifted. Fast forward a week later, I just want to check in and like tell you guys what I, how I found the suspension so far. So in our place where we live now, there's a track from one side, it's about one mile, one and a half mile of real rough pothole dirt track to get to our place. So it's a good test for the vehicle. And before on the standard suspension, it was like real like jarry back breaking kind of potholes <laughs> it really needs repairing but again makes a good test and since having the iron man foam cell pros on there and everything else springs etc um i've really noticed that the amount the speed that i can go down the track at has increased so much like before i would nowhere near get to like 30 40 mile an hour on some of the straighter bits and it just sort of like takes those potholes in and the, the reaction time of the suspension is just far 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 superior obviously as you would expect but just it's just amazing how much i've noticed in that short period of time already and that's before we've gone to like the wilds of portugal and tested it on corrugations and sand and you know some rocky ascents and things which is coming up soon as you know first impressions are you know top notch and um it's looking it looks good as well like, i love the way that the green on the on the gray black kind of shocks it just sets it off really nicely and you catch a glimpse of it here and there as you're passing the car and with those top arms too it just looks like mm, yeah something is going on there any questions fire away in the comments i'll um i'll be here for a while answering those so yeah fire away with questions and uh yeah if you enjoyed it give us a like uh, share it around and um hope you're looking forward to getting on the trails with us again soon hopefully we'll be booking the ferry in the uh weeks to come next week or two ready for mid to late march very exciting times indeed all right guys have a good one cheers